Stampers, Stampers is Gigi with Stamp Fanatics, and I have a really cute Father's Day card that I wanted to share with you today. I know it's coming up quick on us, and before we know it, it's going to be here. And while I'm waiting for my order to be delivered, and I hope some of you are waiting for your new products to come, if not, there's still lots of time, and I am offering some specials in uh, June that you can see on my blog. Um, I'm using, let's see, a few new products and some of the ones that carried over. And I was so excited that the Seaside Shore stamp set has carried over because it's just so inviting. It's such a great one for a guy to be at the beach or if he fishes. Um, we live on a lake, but you wouldn't see these kind of fish on our lake. So, but the anchor's cute. And... I needed to find a Happy Father's Day saying, and I went through the whole new catalog, and luckily our thoughtful banners also carried over, and there was the happy, and then uh, down here was the Father's Day. So luckily I put that together, and I have my nice Happy Father's Day saying. Now, here's, here's an exciting thing that I found in our daisy set. It's called Delightful Daisy Designer Paper, and this is some of our new paper that's coming. If you look at this paper on the back, it's perfect. This one has all the variegated colors, which to me just kind of look like the ocean, and it's in our new Tranquil Tide um, color that we have, our new in color, so it was perfect. I also noticed that there was even another one that I kind of liked. It was the back of the floral, and it's this one. And yes, these are teeny, teeny little daisies, but they could just as easily be rope and be um, something that you did maybe to go along with this rope or this rope and very, look very nautical. And again, it's got that gorgeous ombre kind of effect. Um, it's not faded paper when you get it. This is the way they intended it and it just works perfect for my card. So I'm excited about it. So I needed for this card a piece of Tranquil Tide. And this one is our typical card base. It is five and a half by um, eight, and a half and then I scored it in the middle at four and a quarter and I'm just going to fold that together and take a nice crisp line with my bone folder and that's the base of my card. Then the next uh, paper that I used was a piece of white that's four inches by five and a quarter. I just cut it down a quarter inch from my card size and then this I went down one more quarter and this is from the designer paper and this is three and three quarters by five and so I'm just going to layer it. This is my darkest piece part of this paper so I'm actually going to put that at the bottom so it looks like the bottom of the ocean. And then I have these cute fish that I cut out and then the Happy Father's Day um, saying and I used one of our layering circle framelits to cut this out and to cut out our saying I used the Let's see, it's kind of glaring here. One and a half inch circle punch, because I love to use my punches when I can. Um, we're also going to be using our Stampin' Right markers with the new in colors. And I use that to color this little piece of um, seaweed, I guess, in our lemon lime twist. And I'll show you how I stamped it and how I colored it. And let's see, I think that's about everything. Oh, and then the little bubbles that I made, because this whole paper looks like bubbles to me with all the little cute circles. I use the metallic uh, shapes, and these are the circles, the smallest ones in our metallic group. Let me show you what it, uh, it comes in silver and gold, and I just decided to use the silver, but there you go. You can see I use like the, the top little ones as the bubbles, not the big ones, and then I use the little heart right there for the Father's Day saying in the middle. So that's everything I think we're going to need. We'll need some dimensionals and some snail, and that's about it. So let's get started. All I did with these is I just took my snail and I just attached them to the card base. So that goes by really quick. And I'm just going to add that to the card. And the same thing here. I'm just going to add this paper. I was so excited to see the back because I was looking for something nautical. And there it was. It was just so versatile, this paper. I've used it on the flower side a lot, but... Now I know it has this cool other side. I might be using more and more of this, this look too. Okay, so that's the card base. So now you need a piece of scrap of Whisper White and we're just gonna start stamping some of our fish and our piece of seaweed. So the colors that I used, I did this fish in Pacific Point, which is one of our continuing colors. It's not new, okay. 
And then I used, let's see, I used the Daffodil Delight for this fish. And these are all going to be fussy cut out, so it didn't matter that I kind of have a little halo effect there. And let's see, we need a third fish. And this one I did in a Tranquil Tide. And you can see this Tranquil Tide stamped against the paper. It just has a different look, and I just thought it looked beautiful. So I'm going to use that for this other fish. Okay. And then for my seaweed, I used our lemon lime twist because I thought it would be cool to have some of those little day glow colors that they have under the sea. I mean, just beautiful kind of fluorescent colors. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. Now, I'm stamping this in the tranquil, I mean, I'm sorry, not tranquil tie, but in the lemon lime twist. You can also do it in the black, and I'll take my black archival and show you. I tried it out, and I didn't like it as well, so I didn't use it, but let me clean my stamp and just show you a different look. Let's see. I'll just flip it on the back there. And then I took my Stampin' Right markers in the Lemon Lime Twist, and I'll show you. I took the brush side and then I just colored it in and I just kind of gave that green. But see how the black is real harsh and real um, noticeable? I just didn't like it as well. I'll show you what I did on the other side is when I just filled this in and I just did that and had that outline. I kind of liked it better. It's up to you. You choose. Leave me a comment. Tell me which one you would have done. But um, so I just colored all that in. And then it kind of has an outline, if you can see, from the stamp and then what I've colored in. So I kind of like that. Then I took my happy birthday, I mean happy birthday, <laughs> happy Father's Day. I've had birthdays lately, so it's been on my mind. And I took my Tranquil Tide ink and I just went ahead and stamped that. Let me turn that around. Oh, that's kind of smeary. Let's see if I get a better one. There we go. Okay, and let's see, I think that's about everything. So now I'm just going to take my circle punch, and I'm just going to punch out that Father's Day saying. And I've done a couple things ahead of time. I took, on my circle dies, on my scalloped, I took the second one, and I've already cut out a piece of Lemon Lime Twist cardstock just to save time through the magic of video. And I also, instead of sitting here and fussy cutting all of this for you, because you do have to use your little paper snips and fussy cut this out, I've already saved some time and I've cut my three fish. So that's the only part that you have to cut out. And, and then, oh, also, I'm sorry, the seaweed. Oh, and I did want to show you this little part. When I cut it out, there was this real intricate part in the middle there and I didn't want to fuss with it. So all I'm doing is taking my marker and I'm just going to color that part in along with the rest of it. And when it's on the card, you don't even really notice. I mean, it's just part of the seaweed. So I didn't want to make myself crazy trying to get in there and cut with a little paper cutter and everything. I just went ahead and just colored it in. So it makes it easier. It's a nice shortcut for you. All right, so I think I have all my pieces. Now let's put our card together. So you're going to need some Stampin' Dimensionals. And I started with my yellow fish, and I kind of made him swimming down a little bit. All right, then I want to put my saying on. And so what I did was I popped this up on top of my scalloped lemon lime twist piece, but then I put the lemon lime twist part, I just put it on snail and just put it flat on the card like that, because I didn't want to have too many layers. It makes it too thick. And then it's hard to get it mailed. So, okay, then I took a, another dimensional and I put it on my um, Tide, Tranquil Tide fish. Again, I just kind of made them overlapping like that. And then our third one, I did do the seaweed first. So I put that on the card first. And I did snip a little bit here and there on my edges just to get smaller pieces. 
And on that piece that I've left whole there that I said I just colored in, that fits nicely. And then, let's see, I might have to cut it even thinner. I did a couple pieces. I did one at the bottom. And then I did another one, this is so tiny, up at the top. There we go. And then just take all your paper off. Whoops, this is so tiny. There we go. And let's see, I think I lost my little piece. Let me cut another one. Just popped right off when I pulled the other one off. Sticking to me. Okay, and then take that paper off. Oh, here we go again. There. Okay, so that won't show. And I just put it to the bottom on the left. And that kind of holds that down. I left these movable so that I could then tuck my fish in, just like they are in the ocean when they kind of swim in and out of the seaweed or coral. And you could easily make that a coral color and make it coral. I wanted mine to look like seaweed. And then I just tucked him in sort of like that. Okay, and now we're just ready for our metallic little bubbles. So let me get my paper piercer. I just use that. And I'm just going to start with one coming out of his mouth. And then float another one up. And one more. And you can go with as many bubbles as you want. I didn't want to overdo it, so I just put a couple. And then I took one of my heart shape enamel and I just put it right there. And that's it, that's it. I didn't even do the eyes. I kept it pretty simple because it is a guy's card. I don't like to make them too frilly. And that's our cards. There's the one I did before. And so while you're waiting for your stuff to come, um, use some of this. I hope you have your paper. If not, wait for the paper to come. It should be there way before Father's Day. But it just gives you some options of some of the stamps that are carrying over and then some of the new papers and products that are coming out. And I hope you have a great day and, and get ready for your Father's Day cards. Thank you.